Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode 92. This is part one of a couple, and we are, we are going to be looking at losing the context. Uh, so what is that? That means when the GPU is run out of resources and the browser is basically freeing up resources to gain recontrol of the GPU, it will drop the context of all the GPU's instances on all the tabs. So if another tab is very GPU intensive and is going really, really slow or something, it might destroy your tab when you're using GPU stuff. Uh, additionally, you could be destroying others as well. So what we're going to be looking at is a few different um, uh, APIs here. Uh, is context lost? Allows us to check for whether the context has been lost. And then the, on this extension here, WebGL lose context, we're going to be looking at lose context and restore context. Now these are only used uh, usable to manually turn off and on context and what the, so this is so we can test so we're gonna look at how we can test this and then later on we're gonna look at how we can restore properly so let's go ahead and jump right in so in our application here we don't have too much new going on um, the main thing would be let me scroll on down sorry Install initialization. Okay, we're going to have this new event listener here for WebGL context lost. And on there, we're going to go ahead and have this function. And we're going to prevent the default first. And otherwise, if we don't, then we're going to have an invalid operation here. And we're going to just log out the fact that we've lost the context. Additionally, uh, in our initialization, we're going to go ahead and set this extension that I mentioned previously. Uh, and we're just going to set it as a object on the state.gl. And the reason for that is because we need to ultimately need to call this later on. If we try to call the extension dynamically at that point, it'll no longer be there because of the context we lost. So this will be null. So let's go ahead to go to the key down. And there it's actually in the key up. We're going to go ahead and just check for L because we're going to say L means we're losing it. Logging out if the context is lost or not. And if it's not lost, and we have the extension, we're going to go ahead and lose it. And if it is lost, we have the extension, we're going to go ahead and restore. So you can see here we have the same um, application from previous episodes. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, press the L key here. And you can see the context is then lost. And we're going to log out what the context event was. It was lost here. And we have no more WebGL. If we try to re uh, restore it, we're going to see we have all these invalid operations and values uh, as we're trying to regain the context. And basically what that means is we have a lot of objects that are being referencing to the older context. So you can see bind frame buffer, object not from this context, use program object not from this context. So we're not restoring properly. So we're going to be looking at that in the next episode. So. Um, that wraps this episode up though, so you can test out losing your context here in the next episode We're gonna go ahead looking at how we can restore it properly uh, and That's it for this one. Thank you